camera on. Recording. So, I mentioned that a, a good thing came out of the whole COVID-19 deal, the lockdown thing. And it actually had something to do with what I was saying about uh, McCarran Airport being closed. Um, an ex-girlfriend of mine and I started, we've been talking to each other for the last three or four years. And uh, we had lost contact in like 2003 or so. It was the last time I'd spoken to her. Um, started talking to her again in 2014, I think. And maybe 16, I forget. Um, no, because I was still at the golf course, so yeah, it was 2014. So anyway, uh, we started talking again, and, and one thing led to another. And uh, back in November, we were she made a comment about coming out here to see uh, Tennessee and Kentucky because she's only got like five states that she's never been to, and those are two of them. And so we kind of started making some plans, and I was like, yeah, come on out. And uh, I can take you up there. We can hit a uh, chunk of Alabama and Georgia, too, if you like. And in the process of planning all this, which we spent a couple of months doing it, uh, we both realized we were both interested in getting back together. And, yeah, so she decided she's going to come out um, right before my birthday because I could get some time off and whatnot. And it'd be a nice time of year, you know, it's far enough from Christmas and uh, it'd be warm. So she flew out two days before my birthday on March 13th. Maybe the 12th, I forget. Maybe it's three days. Anyway, uh, we had made some plans and uh, yeah, like three days later, basically the country shuts down. <laughs> And I remember we were sitting in a, a Whataburger in Birmingham, Alabama, when we found out that everything's closing down because the guy running the Whataburger was like, yeah, you're the last ones that are getting in. Nobody else can come in. And he said at three o'clock, uh, it was like 2.45. He said at three o'clock, we have to close the lobby. So I was like, shit, do I need to leave? And he's like, nah, y'all can hang out. Just nobody else can come in. I was like, oh, okay. So, she flew Spirit, which is cheap as shit, and uh, was going to be here for a week. And, and things went really well for that first week. And so we were like, well, fuck it. I ain't got shit else to do. You want to stay an extra week? Like, I'm going to be working from home, apparently. Um, you can just kind of hang out, you know, and we'll do whatever when I'm not working. And she said, yeah. And so we went and we looked at airfare, and it was like $25. Uh, for her to get a one-way flight from Nashville to Las Vegas. So we did that. She's going to wait an extra week, and things went really well. And then, like, four days into that, uh, McCarran Airport closes. And all of the flights, uh, basically, going in there uh, got canceled. And we saw it, like... Every seat, like, okay, her flight was, say it was at um, 8 p.m. All of the 8 p.m. flights during the week going from uh, Nashville to McCarran got canceled. So we're like, yeah, hers is going to get canceled too. So she went ahead and checked in anyway, and we got things packed up and ready to go so we could go. But yeah, it got canceled, and so they gave her a refund, and they were like, we're gonna, they refunded her uh, more than she paid, essentially, because of some technicalities. And then said that they were going to make sure that she gets back and yada, yada, yada. And so, like, a week later, um, she had found another flight. And, uh, it was actually going to fly out of uh, Chattanooga. And it was cheaper to fly from Chattanooga to Raleigh to Chicago to, uh, or no, Sorry, Raleigh was an option. She went Chattanooga, Chicago, L.A., and then uh, Vegas. And I shit you not, the day before, that flight got canceled too. So she called them, and they were like, well, the next flight we can guarantee is in a week. And she just looked at me. She's like, I'll be here a fucking month. And I was like, I'm fine with that. <laughs> you know? She's like, fuck it. Call mom and dad, have them ship you the cats, and just stay. 
Um, so yeah, her, her, I think it was the third, yeah, the third flight she tried to get on actually left. So she did make it back, but poor girl was stuck out here for a month. And we had a great time, and, and I introduced her to the bike, took her for a couple of rides. I didn't have the right gear for her. Um, Dodge Rider hooked me up with a helmet, a spare helmet that he had, and a friend of mine gave us uh, her jacket, and you know, all of this shit's too big for Jenny. So, we're gonna have to buy her her own gear, but that's okay. She's not, it's not like she's gonna ride that much. But uh, yeah, things actually went really well, and we were kind of laughing about it, and it's like, fuck, man. It's a good thing we got along uh, as well as we thought we would. We kind of figured, you know, we're, we've known each other for fucking 20 years. So, we, it's, it's not, it, it wasn't exactly a big question. We weren't 100% sure how it would go, but it wasn't a huge question. What the actual fuck is this shit? Jesus. Oi. Yeah, same issue with that shit, too. So, yeah, uh, it's been an interesting spring. <laughs> and I don't know when she uh, has to get a job, make some money, but she is planning on moving out here. Uh, she, One of the things that got it all started was she made a comment about how she, like, there was nothing in Vegas, like nothing tying her to Vegas anymore. And I was like, well, shit, I can work with that. Um, so she's going to move out and... We're probably not going to stay in Chattanooga, but we'll see. Uh, that's still kind of up in the air. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's it's uh, pretty interesting and a little scary, but mostly just really cool because we're more or less at the same stage in life. Uh, we have uh, we agree on damn near everything. Uh, there's, there's a couple of things we don't really agree on, but for the most part, um, you know, we don't. You know, we're not getting into arguments or anything. Uh, we, we don't disagree about what to eat, shit like that. It just, I think it'll work out nicely. Let's put it that way. Recording stopped. Goodbye.